Hello, everybody, and welcome. This video is going to be all about the emotional aspect of uh, negative group attitudes, prejudice. Specifically, we're going to talk about the experience or the emotional experience of prejudice because traditionally, again, uh, prejudice is thought of as a negative evaluation of <clears throat> an individual or group. But not all prejudice is equal, all right? Not all prejudice is experienced the same. In fact, <clears throat> the experience of prejudice is, uh, is different for different groups of people, like at least according to the stereotype content model. So I'm going to share my screen with you right quick. Here we go. All right. Now, the stereotype content model argues that our relationships with outgroups are not all equal, all right? <clears throat> um, Rather, we, some groups have more status than our own, some groups have less, some groups are in competition or they're uh, with our group, others are not. And in general, the stereotype content model argues that the way we think about outgroups is very similar to the way we think about people, all right? So in general, when it comes to our evaluations of individuals, we tend to evaluate individuals along two fundamental dimensions, warmth and competence, all right? We tend to evaluate whether or not somebody uh, wants to hurt us, warmth, uh, or you know, how caring they are, how kind they are. Um, <clears throat> and then we, try, we tend to evaluate how effective they would be at trying to harm us, how intelligent they are, how smart they are, how capable they are, right? Competence, okay? So we tend to evaluate individuals in terms of warmth and competence. Well, the stereotype content model argues that we also do this for groups, but whether we evaluate them as being warm or competent is largely dependent upon our group's relationship with those groups. So for example, if a group, if we're, um, if uh, we're talking about a group that our group is in competition with, then we typically think of them as that group, as member, as that group, and that members of that group as being low in warmth. We tend to think of them as in being interpersonally cold. Um, <clears throat> whereas if a group, an out group, has higher status than ours, then we tend tend to think of that group as being very competent. But on the other hand, if a group tends to be very interpersonal, if if a group tends to not be in competition, uh, uh, sorry. Uh, a group tends to uh, not be in competition with us, or maybe even uh, um, maybe even that group has a positive relationship with us. Maybe they're pursuing mutual goals. Then we evaluate them warmly, as being warm, right? And members of that group as being warm. Um, if uh, uh, other out groups tend to be very low status, all right, or lower status than our own, then we tend to think that those groups are less competent. Okay, so outgroup, outgroup A, all right? If they're in competition with us, we tend to think of them as interpersonally cold. But if they're not, maybe even if they're on our side, we think of them as interpersonally warm. If that outgroup has higher status than ours, then we tend to think of them uh, as being very competent. But if that group has less status than ours, when, then we tend to think of them as being not so competent, or at least lower in competence. Now, the social content model argues that depending upon the combination of these two dimensions, competition and status, we, uh, we, we experience prejudice towards those groups differently, okay? So if we have a outgroup that is uh, have very high status, and we're in competition with them, all right? They have something we want. Then we tend to feel envy. So a group that satisfies this for many people is rich, rich people, all right? They're very high status, all right? <clears throat> and we're in competition because they have all the resources and we want the resources, right? So we have to compete with them. And so because high competition, high status, uh, the stereotype content model argues that we would very often experience envy towards this group. But what about a group that we're in a lot of competition with, but they don't have a lot of status? 
for some individuals, they, some individuals may think of the poor in this way. So they may think of uh, poor individuals as uh, being the ones who we, we have to compete with to get resources, but not think of them as being very competent. Uh, and so for individuals who, who view the poor this way, they might view those, may view the poor, may view poor individuals with contempt. All right. <clears throat> but what about a group that we don't have any competition with, right? So we're not competing for the same bucket of resources, right? But they're very high status. Well, the stereotype content model argues that we would view these people with admiration. And so one group that some individuals may think of this way are movie stars, right? So <clears throat> we're not trying to go for those parts, right? We're not trying to, uh, well, most of us aren't. Most of us aren't, aren't trying to get on the silver screen, right? Um, so we're not in competition with them, but they have a lot of status, right? They, they get pulled in for product endorsements. Uh, you know, we're in, we're in, we're in election season. They, they get pulled in for uh, candidate endorsements, right? You know, so, the, so they have a lot of status, right? <clears throat> but we're not in competition with them. So the stereotype content model predicts, well, we should pro we'll probably react to movie stars with admiration. But what about a group that we're not in competition with, we're not competing for the same bucket of resources, and <clears throat> they're very low status? Well, homeless individuals may... Uh, uh, be viewed this way by some people. And if they are, then the stereotype content model suggests that we would react to these individuals with pity. So there we go. All right. Four different combinations of competition and status and four different reactions. So four different experiences of prejudice. All right. All right, guys, that is it for this video on the differences in the experience of prejudice. Uh, as always, if you have any questions, let me know. If not, I will catch you.